Bonjour. Ça va bien. Uh, mon nom est Roberto Simeone, la honest war gamer. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to paint some other spells. This is, this, is this. this is a slap job video, right? Uh, Alk not in the chat, who is French, said that I nailed that. you got to start classy. When you're doing painting, uh, bonjour, no. as you can see, my water is in a Montana Colors cup. That's very classy. It's a good start to the show. Uh, je m'appelle Ron. Uh, et tu comité la discliothèque. So, we're going to be doing some painting, uh, doing some slap chopping, basically. This is also going to be a YouTube video, so if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, you know, hit like and subscribe. Uh, but if you're watching this on Twitch, like all of these fine people here, you get the opportunity to sass me as I paint every Wednesday. Yeah, and I promise you, they take the opportunity to sass me, so feel free. Okay, here we go. Let's jump. Let's let's do it. Right, we're going to paint like this. We're going to paint like this so you can see the chat. We'll paint like this so you cannot see the chat. Screw them while I'm painting. Um, oh, my God. I was talking about baguette-style paintbrushes when. Agreed. Rob just used 90% of the French you could use in Blizzard Company. <laughs> YouTube thugs believe the earth is flat. Wow. I think, yeah. Le slap chop. Yeah, so today, I yeah. Etu, uh, I'm trying to reach the French market. I'm trying to breach into the French quarter. Uh, etu, comité, le slap chop. Uh, etu... <laughs> Brute, I'm going to paint these mini, uh, these ender spells. And as you can see, I've already, as they call, slap chopped them. Uh, so, uh, which is just a grey dry brush and then a white dry brush over the top to pick out the details. Some people are going to say things like zenithal, and that would be wrong because zenithal is directional. This is more of a sketch volume paint method i learned some words get fucking ready i'm gonna stretch it out stretch it out that's right that's right yeah okay um and it's uh, it's not actually any of the words people say in the chat because no one had ever heard of that word some people call it on grizzle on grizzles on grizzulia uh but actually no one had actually heard about that until six months ago no one had even know it existed Sometimes when I slap chop, I debate leaving them white and grey with the eyes popping in colour like Silent Hill theme when they say sometimes it happens every time. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I got some tur tur turtlekin, by the way. Yes! Turtlekin! Oh my god, yes, me and Phil are into the turtles right now. I'm in the hospital with my wife and we just had our third child. <gasps> we still haven't settled on a name. My wife really didn't like Sigma. Can we just get some congratulations to White Trash Wargamer in the chat? His third kid! Let's go. Let's go. Rob's a good name. Yeah. Roberto or Ron, any of those names, very usable. All right, let's just go. Um, yeah, a little baby. All right, let's just paint this up, shall we? I might have to move the camera because it's quite clear. I put the camera in the wrong position, so just give me a second. This is really good YouTubing. So this is uh, this is how the pros do it, I think. This is how uh, Angel Garaldez do it, does it, I think. We've well, got to pick some colors. I don't know what colours to pick. That's not true. I always know what colour to pick. It's the same colour you use every time. It's Nasdaq Yellow! Because we're doing some gold! Okay, let's go. Aqua. Aqua. Because we're going to pick out the gold. This is the easiest bit. We're just going to do all the trim in this. Yeah, every time. It's called Honest Wargamer Off the Table. Um, it's calling it Honest Wargamer Off the Table? We <laughs> what the Oh, the baby! Okay, so... Put some on the on the on the wet palette. Add some water. Okay, add water. Thin it down. Um, choose the green as you did for Kairos. That is rude. That is rude and unnecessary. Uh, I call foul play. Uh, there's uh, foul play on the pitch. I want none of that. And then just bang it on. Easy peasy. And we thin it down. Mainly because it looks better. There might be some reasons why, but we're not going to discuss those. Because what we're trying to do is just paint it fast. Let's go. Oh, we're just going to burn through some paint jobs today. Let's go, boys. Let's not even let's not even mess around. If anyone's got any questions, uh, probably I'm the wrong person to ask. Uh, I'm not much of a painter. In fact, actually, I'm mainly just painting miniatures I'm going to use in my games. Uh, apart from... Well, I'm thinking of using these... I am going to paint these at some point. Maybe not in this video. Um, I want to paint these because I want to do the rock, bring a, a rock coven sorcerer list because it's just awesome. 
So I might do that. Uh, watch out for reactivation. I don't have to because I'm using uh, contrast paints and they don't reactivate. So it's not an issue uh, is uh, the, the easy answer to that. Um, there you go. Easy. As the inventor of this technique, did you get royal every time someone uses it? I actually get zero money every time anyone does anything. And I'm very happy with that because I want no part in the painting community. None. I want no part of their shenanigans. They're all wrong-uns. They literally argue over the color of paint. Imagine. Imagine that's your level because I'm no part of that. Uh, not much painter invents most proper technique of modern time. <laughs> Again, I invented nothing. I'm just hanging out every Wednesday. Let's just paint some minis. That's it. I'm just going to give you that confidence. It's more like a dojo. That's kind of how I describe it. I think of it. It's like a dojo where I just show you that you don't have to stress too much. I try and take that pressure off you emotionally so you can just get your minis done. Also, don't forget, at the end of today's show, uh, so which will be about 1 or 2 p.m., uh, I will be going into the Discord, so the Honest Wargamer Discord, and I'll be going into the Slap Chop channel, so type exclamation mark Discord. I'll be going into the Slap Chop channel, and I'll be looking at all your Slap Job paint jobs. And, for, and to every single one of them, I'm just going to say things like, great job, uh, you've done well, uh, wow, that looks great, uh, and other such pleasantries. Basically, it's a free emotional boost. I might even just set up a bot, so every time you post something in there, I just say things like, great job. Or, you've done really well there. Or, you should be proud of yourself. Just stuff like that. Because you should. Like, I've started doing this thing on Twitter where I see someone's painted something. I just write back, great job, bro. Every time. Without fail. Like, without fail. It's like, great job. Every time. Wow. That's great. Every time. And it's just so nice to do it. Um, uh, uh, like me to my partners after sex. Wow. <laughs> yes, Owen. What up, baby? Uh, okay. So there we go. So we've already done the gold. Uh, I think there's, uh, I was looking at a picture of one of these. The Tome of, uh, oh no. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's fine. All right, now we need a fancy blue. Let's do a fancy blue. Who knows what? Um, honest what Wargamer brushes Kickstarter when? I mean, the, the jokes are very funny. Like, it would be very funny to do a, a, a Kickstarter like that, but, I don't know. I think it would. Be, I think it would be taking it too far, right? Uh, this is the official Zinch Endless spell, correct? Uh, so I've got some choices for the blue, Aethermatic blue. That's a good blue for doing like fancy colours. Uh, there's also Azamon blue. Um, so I might do a bit of Azamon blue for the light colour, and then I'm going to do some Aethermatic blue for the magic and stuff. So, um. Uh, the uh, what did Rob think about the Mutilix? The Mutilix Vortex Beast. The leaks for the Mutilix Vortex Beast. I can only say this. It's on. It's absolutely on. The four Mutilix Vortex Beast list is big stonks. So, we're going to use some Azamon Blue. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, Rob, I've just been painting, but unfortunately my slap drop underpaint has reactivated and it punched me square in the jaw, sending me flying across the room. You're here for my legal counsel for repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy this must be how painters feel when they're when they see us talking about like the battle scroll they must be like what are they all talking about and we're just like bro doesn't matter it just doesn't matter should we blend another color in absolutely not that sounds like a waste of time we just want to get this stuff done make it look like medium medium good maybe even like not medium good do you know what i mean just Pretty bang average is my what I go for. Like with the intent. Oh no, I got a bit on the. I got see as you can see, I got a bit on here. The way to fix that is I just leave it. I just leave it. I don't do anything about it. I just absolutely leave it. I don't. I don't worry. I go to bed at night having never thought about that bit again. There we go. Can't even tell. No one even gives a shit. And now we move on. Um, I want slap and chop brushes and a chopping board. You got it. Uh, happy little tree mentality. That's it. I just don't care. I just, I just move on, and I just, I just think about other things. I think about how much I miss my friends, how much I'd love to see my friends again, like Tristan and and Scrivo. I see those two people in the chat. I'd love to see them in real life again. That'd be great. I'd love to see Pershaw again. 
see him chuckling about all sorts of other 40k nonsense that I haven't seen him chuckle about in a while. Also, Dom. I'd love to see a bit of Dom. That'd be great. That's what I think about. Imagine thinking, worrying about my painting when I could be just thinking about how nice all the people I know are. It's just way better. There you go. As you can see, I've also thinned this down again. Okay. Thinned. This is El Thinnoed, as they say. Yeah, I've basically almost finished this in maybe three, four minutes. That's not bad. It's not bad for a paint job. Uh, I love the glowing blue effect on the gold where you messed up. How did you achieve this? Thanks, great question. What I did, <laughs> what I did was, is I just accidentally went over it. Uh, and that's how I achieved it. Thanks for asking. Uh, any further questions, please do ask. I would like to know. Um, I think about putting Kato in the Chad in the spooky boat. Oh, you should. I've got a bunch of rock gut trolls and river trolls, two dank hole trolls on the troll hag. Any playable whisk can paint with us. Thunderflux, are they fully painted? Because the answer is 100%. There is a playable bit list you can play right now, and Dom, who's in the chat, would be able to help you out with that list. But also, as I was dropping truth bombs yesterday, definitely some playtesters have also been building that sort of stuff. So big stonks on all of those things right now. Big stonks. Okay, so now we've got to do the magic colour. And I'm a little bit worried about the colour in the middle. I'm not really sure what it should be. That's a great question. What colour should it be, Rob? I mean, who cares? We'll just pick another colour and crack on. If only paint reactivated, you could fix your mistake. I mean, you could just do this. Let me show you how to fix it. So you see how uh, I got it on this little bit here. A good way to fix it is just get some water on your brush and just, just rub really hard. There you go. Let me just show you. It's not fixed. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. And then just do some gold over the top. And then we've basically fixed it. There we go. Loved it. Just rub it uh, out is a great lesson. We did it. We did it. Um, Pink and Hex Wraith of the Flames. Rainbow Songs. Wow. Slapchop 2 video needed that. I know. I know. But unfortunately, there won't be a Slapchop 2 video. I can't do it. The internet. It turns out that the wargaming community isn't ready for humor. They're not there yet. Like, a lot of people uh, not caring is the fix. I mean, having just other things that care, you care about more. Your friends, your family, your loved ones. Just the general state of the world. Those things that feel more important. I quite like striking scorpion green, but I don't think this is going to work. But I would love to put that in there, but it's not going to happen. Uh, we need some blues. Uh, Croxigal scales. It's quite a nice blue. Uh, it's kind of like got a greeny color, uh, which is fun. What else should we use? Ooh, some Eldari emerald is also quite great, great but I don't think that's going to work. Um, is Light of Altharian a fun hero unit? The Light of Altharian is a great unit. 100% I would take that. Great duelist characters, like a mini Gotrek. 100% take it. Um, dude, Subshot Part 2, no way. What the fuck are you talking about? 200,000 views and you care what three twits that live with retired parents are saying. It's actually 350,000 views. Thank you. Yeah. Don't quote me. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I just don't care. <laughs> People not in on the joke, not able to comprehend what the joke is. Uh, it's true. And you're right. You're right. I may do one at some point. But that's not today. Okay, so I'm just going to do some Aethermatic because, like, uh, by the way, this spell is going to go in every Zinch list I ever write. Every time. Um, very important as a spell, I think, to me personally. So, in fact, actually, let's just do some little, let's do some, let's do some color stuff. Let's do something really fun. So there's these little orbs in here. So let's just pick them out. Let's pick out the orbs. There we go. As you can see, it doesn't take overly long to pick out the orbs. There you go. If you'd like to uh, paint them as a gem, then obviously there's a great paint gem tutorial uh, online. Um, uh, just, just, but I don't know who would do it. Um, uh, what spell is that? It's the Comet of Zinch. <laughs> It's the, uh, the it's the burning sigil of Zinch. Uh, so if you play against Zinch in the future, it's the one you're going to see all of the time. Uh, it's the best end of spell by a country mile. Um, it's crazy. So Aethematic Blue. So this one. You don't really need to thin this. It's just not one of those ones you need to thin. Unfortunately, uh, for, the, for the contrast paints, uh, and I think a very fair criticism of the contrast paints, is they're not all made equal. 
So some of them uh, work differently to how the other ones work, which I think is super sad. So you do have to do a different individual practice for each endless spell. Uh, so like this one, for instance, you don't need to thin down. It's really watery. It's uh, it's it's quite. It's almost a bad paint. Like really, like it doesn't really do much. Um, apart from like tints a little bit. So I'll do with like an okay color. So you can see, it's very, very athematic. I don't think this looks too bad. No, this looks okay. Am I going to do Necro Weirdos on stream? 100%. 100% I'm going to do Necro Weirdos on stream. Uh, I am... Uh, so next week we build the gangs, as in, like, the roster. Because uh, you have to do the roster before you actually physically build the gangs. Then next week we'll physically build the gangs. Anyone who's just watching this painting video, uh, we're talking about Necro Tuesdays, um, which, is, uh, which is where we do our super weird champ uh, Necromunda gang. Uh, please don't join us. No, d just don't join in. Like, it's just a bunch of super weird people talking about Necromunda. It's on a Tuesday. Please don't, please don't join in. We don't want you there. There's enough weirdos already in the chat. Just don't, just, just, just don't take part. Don't be a part of it. That's what I'm asking. Uh, as long as they're not all super weak pigments. Um, uh, Rob loves, uh, Rob loves Orlocks. I literally am not playing Orlocks. I've told you time and again that i would never never all ox they're gross class traitors and i'm 100 percent playing as goliaths big roided up stim junkies i'm so excited i'm gonna get the biker i was looking at getting the um the, they've got like a big like gargan sort of no, it's not a gargan uh but they've got a big a big dude um like a berserker dude so i'm gonna get him it's looking pretty good. Cordor's got like the best stuff though. Cordor's got like kind of like a master blaster sculpt where there's like a dude or another dude. It's, there's some great minis for this Cordor stuff. Um, uh, uh, greased up beefcakes, exactly. Escher, Escher are cool. I'm not. I'm not saying that Escher aren't cool, okay? But I'm not being dirty, dirty orlocks ever. Um, well, that selection, I would run a Trog Boss Dank Trog. Oh, right, okay, thank you, Dom. Uh, yeah, and Bomb Rats. Uh, I know, yeah, I mean, they are the Joe Rogan collection, but that's kind of fun. So as you can see, I've almost finished painting this under spell. Took moments. Does it look okay? Looks fine. Looks fine. Do I want to try harder? No. Like, that's the answer. No. And why not? Because, like, that's why. Because why? Because I'm spending about as much time painting it as I reckon the designer put into sculpting it. Like, a lot of the other spells are just like, whatever, man. Like, and that's this. There we go. Um, needs more pink. Pink? I'm not putting any pink on this. <laughs> that's not true. Tristan, let's put, tri let's put pink in the middle. Okay, I'll put pink in this for you. That is not a drama. Anything for you. You watch this. I will put a pink right in the middle here. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, there's still loads. God damn. God damn. I'm now bored of painting. It's been eight minutes. Um, thin the pink down a little. Oh, I'll thin it down. Oh, I'll think it down. Uh, it's the pink eye of Zeech. All right, okay. Now you've made me laugh. Okay, okay. That's worth it. It's worth it to say that every time. I'll be like, look, here it is, the pink eye of Zeech. You've convinced me. Well done. Well done on being funny. Okay, let's go. Uh, pink eyes inch. Let's go. I really wanted the whole Slaves of Darkness book to come out today, but I was going to review that, but it didn't. So, uh, But I like that we're sticking to the schedule. Wednesdays, paint day. That's what we do on Wednesdays. Uh, whew. Okay, so we're nearly there. And now we just got to thin down. Oh, no, look, there's some, there's some colors here that need fixing. Okay, so we need a little bit of pink. A little bit of pink in our life. No problem. Um, uh, it came out in Chinese. Where's the source? On Wednesdays we paint pink. Yeah. Uh, when player shit doesn't like pink, this is all going to be uh, on, in the Rob dossier. <laughs> Run by Spiky Bits. Oh, how's our tweet doing? How's our tweet doing? Uh, oh, okay, everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Everyone's just agreeing. No spice. No spice melange, which is good. Yeah, we're happy about that. Pink! Let's go. Uh, Doomfire Magenta. Not Vulpus Pink. I don't like that color. It's like, whatever. Yeah, let's do this. 
Oh, that's that's our burgundy. I really like that burgundy. It's quite good. Hold on, what have we got? Doomfire magenta. That's pink, right? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Um, what do you need the source for? Okay, so again, Doomfire magenta. Thin it down a tiny bit. Uh, it seems we're being like you got to thin this down a lot. Um, okay, and just paint that in there. Oh, you Do you want? Fuck it. Let's not thin it down as much. Let's see how we feel. Yeah, let's go. As you can see, I'm doing a bit of an OSL effect uh, by just rubbing it on the other bits of the mini. So instead of actually painting neatly, I'm just slopping it over the middle so it looks like. Oh, look at that. You see, you see how you see how I've made it so it looks like the light is spreading to the tendrils. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the secret source of this particular technique is to just to make it look like it's spreading from the tendrils and then i think a lot of people will be i think that's fairly impressive as you can see um uh yes yeah this is this is this is osl i think basically yeah correct so i've done some osl there uh intentionally so let me just show you how i do it again just in case you didn't really catch it the first time so what i'm what i'm doing is i'm applying paint in the areas where the paint is meant to go and then I'm just liberally just sticking it other places and there you go I finished an endless spell done uh, in record time um, uh, like uh, I don't color in the lines because it's too hard but also better they exactly right OSL sounds for oops I splash loads right correct oops I splash it again I painted my spell and I love what I did. Okay, that one's done. Throw that in the bin, and we're off. Okay, but although not throw it in the bin. Tournament winning paint job. Well, that's probably easier. There we go. Happy with that? Happy with that? Okay, just... Uh, okay, next up, the Tome of Eyes. The... <sighs> more, more like no SL. <laughs> that's a funny one. No SL is great. I love that. <laughs> Okay, All right. Next up, the Tome of Eyes. Okay, um, what should we do with this? The back of the book. Maybe we could stick to the same kind of theme. Actually, that's a bit light. That blue. I just might just do some more on it because it's a bit light. I like, I just want a little bit. I just want a bit more. I just want a bit more vibrance. I'm just gonna do some in the middle, like a little, like a little. There you go. There we go. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it right up to the lines. I'm just going to feed it a little bit. There we go. That's what I bit that. That's kind of nicer, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we want. We want some. We want some. We want some power. Um, is there a tracker for how many times the extra spell, the Tome of Eyes, gives you a cast? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm never going to use this spell. Ooh, what should we do? With the back of the book color purple. I agree, chat. Let's go. Let's do it. Luxicon Purple A, the new purple, right? He slap chopping the slap chop. I know. I tried too hard there. That was a mistake. Right, let's do the Luxicony purple. Okay. All right, this is going to be good. Look, Mr. Painter Man blending the shit. I wasn't blending it, I was just sticking some paints on. The secret. Yes, Mr. Math Mallow. Hey, beautiful. Well done on doing 4 1 at the weekend. Hope you had a great time. So I'm just going to do some purple A. As you can see, I'm gonna pa I am going to paint in the lines on this one. Um, just because I feel like I want to. I've thinned it down. As you can see here. Uh, I've accidentally already got it somewhere I don't want it, which is fine. Okay, there we go. No one will notice that anyway. It's not an important part. Although, that's weird. I don't know what that is meant to be. Is that meant to be... Are they all pages? What are they? Why are they, like, got little cuts in them? Some minutes just don't make sense. Uh, hello, my cow brethren. Hello, cow folk. Uh, someone in the YouTube comments like made me laugh a lot when I because talking about the agency my sat center from Monday. It's fair to say, it's fair to say 
that I haven't overly been that impressed with Lumineth since the book dropped, mainly because of the Sentinels, etc. And someone like commented just to be like, oh my god, Rob said something positive about Lumineth Realm Lords. And I was like, I can't have been that negative about them. Surely. Surely I was fair and or TM balanced on the whole situation. I feel like I would have been. I feel like I wouldn't have just been OTT all the time. Uh, so I don't know what that person's saying. But I feel like they are lying. Uh, this is a good opportunity to talk about flat surfaces. Sometimes you get a little bit of extra paint, as you can see, pulling up. Just don't let it. Just drag it away. Seems like an easy answer. Just don't do that. Hello, the Iceman. Thanks for resubscribing. Um, friendship ended with Cathar. Now I'm best friends with the Color Grave. Do you know what's really good about either the Calathar or the Color Grave? Is you could use either one of those models as either the Calathar Calith or the Color Grave. And I actually wouldn't know the difference between either, nor, and this is super importantly, care. That's the important part. So there you go. Um, a hobby channel. Yes, Iggy, what up? Hey, Rob, what would you say the five easiest list archetypes to play? I've got my first two days soon. I don't want to pop something on my brain, so I'm trying to get ideas. Oh, hey, bud. Um, what's what's inter uh, So there are definitely are armies that are easier to play, i.e. the skill, like, not the skill cap, but the, um, but the, the amount that you have to do is lower. That's definitely very true. It's definitely very true. But the secret source to winning is never really what's in a list, truth be told. And I know someone's going to say the ephemeral thing of like, it's just skill. But I've actually had this question a couple of times recently. I've been speaking to a couple of people um, and trying to give them some light coaching for free. And uh, and effectively what I've told them is, is the thing to remember is... The thing to remember uh, when you're playing uh, Age Sigma or any war game really is it actually doesn't matter uh, what's in the armies. It's how they play and what you're looking to achieve. So your army does stuff and your opponent's army does stuff. It actually does a limited amount of stuff. So what you really want is to understand what their stuff does, understand what your stuff does and how your stuff can stop their stuff doing the stuff they want to do. Seems easy, but there we go. Uh, also, you can play Gargants. <laughs> it's, it's a really easy one, my friend. Just go walk on the objectives and you'll do okay. Yeah. Um, uh, now we know their plan, we can plan around their plan. Everyone is trying to achieve something. Like, there's only a limited amount of stuff someone can do. Like, a good example would be uh, the game we watched on Objective Zone on Monday. Uh, sorry, on Sunday. The Stone Guard were only ever going to move into the middle of the board. The Eels can only ever fight. They didn't put anything else in their list. And so because they can only do those things, you've got to discuss when or where you want them to happen. It's all about it's all about the overarching strategy as opposed to the individual engagements. The individual engagements are important, obviously, but I see so many people just get the overarching thing wrong, which is where you lose. As soon as you get that bit right, the other stuff should fly into, slot into place personally. Mm. But you can play Gargants if you want to play um, a game. Marathi and the Bow Snakes is a bit of a face roll. Just do that. Like, that's an absolutely no brain play army. Um, what else can you do? <sighs> that's super easy. Like, because those two are like right up there, top end, ridiculous. You can still do Pusk Oils. You can still do Nurgle. There's a little bit more tracking to keep with that, in my personal opinion. Um, uh, pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Jaws. Although Iron Jaws is played better when it's you don't just yeet it in in the first turn. Just take Iron Jaws. Give them the first turn and then charge. Don't just charge on the first turn. Um, uh, like that's, but but also people who turn up and just play an army based on rote is a mistake as well. That purple's looked okay. Not bad. Maybe a tiny bit streaky. I think that's a fair argument. It's a tiny bit streaky. So super thin down some purple. Thin it down loads. Let's go over the top, and then that should deal with us. And then make sure none of it pulls. And hopefully that deals with our streakiness. Because the streakiness is because some areas are lighter than the others, right? Or some areas are darker. So hopefully that just brings the whole thing into into line. There we go. Well, that's what I do anyway. Um, you must score more points to your opponent, not fighting them. That is correct. That is correct. It's a it's a bit of a... That's, that's a great shout, Hazel. Yeah. 
you you win by scoring points. You don't win by fighting them. That said, though, that said, though, you should be trying to make it so that you can or defeat their stuff as you can defeat their stuff. Their stuff dies. That's also an important thing to remember. Right. What color are the pages? Watering down contrast is the shit. It's literally how it works. Like as soon as I've, I've watched, I have watched a few of the other like uh, contrast paint videos from other creators, and then they do all the dry brushing, and then they don't water down their paint, and I'm like, why did you even dry brush it? I don't know what you're doing. Doing the more victory by charging everything straight away and going for an early pint. There's also that David. That's also true. Um, pink pages. I didn't like the pink. I thought the pink was a bit naff, personally, but look how. Look how medium to shit this looks. But it's fully painted, so guess how much of a shit I give? Zero. None. Nil poids. Um, uh, bone. Bone. Ooh. Someone's being creepy. What? Skeleton horde? Interesting. We could go for, like, something rubbish, like Briar Queen Chill, which is kind of like a super soft... Let's do... Oh, that's a bit... I guess that's a bit deathy, isn't it? Um... Uh, blue and pink as each colors get on it. Uh, blue and pink, blue and pink. But you can't do blue pages. That'd be crazy. Uh, I'd go back over with magic light dry brush of white. Ooh, um, Pilar Glacier. Interesting. Uh, joke side. Thanks for the advice, bros. I'll try and do you proud. You'll do great. I see. You'll do great. Uh, this needs to be a copy of the yellow pages that turned demon because nobody buys this anymore. <laughs> no one bought the yellow pages anyway, right? Like, the yellow pages wasn't something that got bought. Um, this is a thing in England for everyone in the chat who's like, what the hell is he talking about? What words are coming out of that English man's mouth? Well, the yellow pages uh, is a, like, a phone book. I think, oh, I think you call them the white pages over in the USA. You call them, yeah, the white pages. Um orange page green pages oh no so many terrible suggestions orange pages it's not going to be orange let's put it let's do the blue on all the metal on the metal stuff and then we can come back to it blue or gold blue fuck it let's go blue uh flesh pages stop suggesting flesh pages you're being really weird it's weird flesh pages is gross as a suggestion no one's skin pages what is this? A game of weird fantasy demons that would rip off people's faces? I don't, I don't want no part in your shenanigans. Right? The skin of my enemies. I want no part of this. That's what I want. I just want to paint my little dudes and be a happy little camper casting spells. Uh, bonus away pages will make it look like a book. All right, fine. All right, we're going to do Skeleton Horde. Okay? Enough of you have pressured me now. And by enough of you, it was three people. I caved immediately. I immediately caved. Okay. Uh, the Mormons each pages. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. There we go. Blue. Good. Done. Solved. Uh, uh, let's do some gold on the little trim. Uh, there we go. I actually super chuffed about knowing how to paint like this. Because previously, this would have been a nightmare. I'd have been like, oh my god, this is going to take me ages. But now, it doesn't take me ages. And I'm the happiest little soldier in the world. So, uh, water that bone the fuck down, though. <laughs> yes, go chat. I love how much you... I love, I love how fucking hype the chat get. Let's go chat. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. If you don't water that down, I will come over there. And I will fucking end you, Rob. I will end it all. Um, uh, I'm excited to paint. Uh, so some people may not know, uh, but the Turkish monk is in the chat. The Turkish monk who taught me how to paint a mystery themselves is in the chat. Um, so if anyone would like to shout out to the Turkish monk in the chat, uh, it is... Uh, they're in the shh. Okay. All right. Well, we won't talk about the Turkish monk in the chat then. Okay. I think I've already outed you, Turkish monk. Okay. But I can't believe you got Wi-Fi up on the mountain now. That's incredible. Um. Or oh, all oh, praise the Turkish monk. Masa, <laughs> mashallah. 
I thought they weren't allowed to be here. The Turkish monk can do what they like. They 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 suffer no fools. That's what they do. Um, is that the snapshot money? Uh, is wait, what, what? Which of us is wearing a fez? I'm not wearing a fez. Uh, the originator of the, Thank You Monk, 80 Plague Monks became doable thanks to Slapchop. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a story to share with the monk and how much uh, teaching me and therefore telling you guys about it, then obviously I'm sure they'd love to hear about it. Um, uh, why don't you wear a fez? <laughs> you mean when I start doing Slapchop videos? Absolutely 100% in. I mean, you've convinced me immediately to buy a fez. Well done. That's what we should do. Okay, I'm going to do bone pages. Look at that. That looks pretty decent. That looks pretty decent for a four-year-old. Like, I reckon if your kid came up to you and was like, look what I painted, Mom, Dad, yeah, you'd be like, well done, kid. I thought you were useless. Now it just seems you're rubbish. But you got it done. And that is the important part. Okay. Uh, magenta flames. I mean, let's do something super weird and terrible. Okay. All right, we're going to do some bone. Okay, let's do some bone. I think we did too well last week with the uh, the ogres. Like, just too good. Rob, no bone. Uh, are you taking the monk to your American chop seminar? Unfortunately not. Um, I'm not. There's no, there's no monk at the seminar. Do you want to pin it to the fridge? Proud of you, buddy. <laughs> what a great, what a great response that would be to a painting video. If someone was like, "I've actually, uh, I've taken, I've printed this out," you know, sort of a post on Twitter or Instagram, like, "I've actually printed this out and stuck it in my fridge." Good job, buddy. You've done really well. You've done really well. Okay, so I've done some bone and I'm thinning the bone down. Okay, a lot. Oh, there you go. How you all feeling about them bone pages? You weird, weird champs. Feeling good? Um, well, no. Do I go? Do I, what, what do I do? The lids, the lid, the I guess the eyelids are still the bone paper material. Gross. Okay. There we go. That's good. Let's do that. Uh, Four hundred hours. Pat on the head. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> uh, do green eyes. I love these painting streams. Thank you, Adju Paints. Uh, bonjour. Um, it's because they're the best painting streams. Because there's just a bunch of people in the chat trying to learn together. Trying to learn together. That's what they are. Uh, you have to do pink eyes. Okay, as you paint, thanks for resubscribing. Okay, all right, I'll do pink eyes. If that's what you want. Following on from the theme. I mean, I'm never, ever going to use this under spell. It's terrible. So I really don't care what color it is, to be honest. I'm just getting it done. Um, which is all we could really ever want from us, our lives. And then I'll just do what the other painters do. I'll take a photo of it and then just Photoshop it to make it look nicer uh, for the gram. And then I'll be a real pro. That's the trick. Um, a dot in the back, a black pupil. What? A dot? I'm not doing a dot. Hey, in three years, uh, when they get a new tome, it might be good. <laughs> Imagine buying a miniature. And someone's like, hey, in three years, though, that might not be shit. Now, thanks to Snapchat, we can paint models we don't even intend to play. <laughs> I know, right? Like, uh, imagine, imagine, last time, like, imagine, like, this is uh, this is phenomenal. Like, if this was like, okay, there's no way that this would have even, even been sniffing near paint. There would have been no chance. I'm now just painting minis that are never going to see the tabletop. Imagine it. Like, I might just comically play it. Like, one of my friends might come over and I just might accidentally play I might just be like I'm just gonna play this spell be like, is it good I'm like absolutely not but I painted it and I'm like well why did you paint it if it's not very good I was like just because I can because I have the ability to just paint even if I don't give a shit about it it's the best okay so how are we feeling about the book chat 
feel like we're doing okay there. It's a little bit heavy-handed in some areas. Okay, I agree with everyone. Bone was the right suggestion. I'm an idiot. The chat's correct, as always. Um, well done. You win. Okay. Is the spell not good with Kairos? Everyone who's taken that's an idiot, Math Mallow. Like, why? The, like, you you have cogs. They're like, I'm going to take a spell that rerolls on one wizard. I'm like, is that the only wizard you've got? They're like, no, I've got other wizards. I'm like, what does this do? They're like, well, that can just win you the game immediately. Like, well, maybe take that? Feels like, yeah, but I get to reroll casts. Yeah, but you have cogs. Does, do you have anything that does this? No, I have nothing that do this. Cogs is now 70. For all of your wizards to reroll casts. All of them. But what if it is the only wizard I have? Okay, if it's the only wizard you have, maybe. But then is it still better than this? Um, you never... Uh, mm. Army Painter tweeted in response to the Juan Hidalgo thing. Immediately, let's go back into the, the drama sources. Hold on. Uh, let's pause let's pause the video. YouTube folks don't care about this. It turned out the drama in the painting world was how wonderful you all are. Thanks for listening, YouTube people. Yeah, thanks for listening. If you do want to ever get into the Twitch show, you can. Uh, but you have to have a certain level of brain rot to be part of the crew. Um, right, okay. Um, all for one. Correct. Hashtag all for one. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do, uh, not bar red, not bar red. Uh, we're going back to Doomfire Magenta so we can do some pink eyes. Okay, <laughs> one, all for one or one for all. It's my favorite one. I actually went on Spike Whips once. I swear the layout had, oh my God, it's just the worst. Don't go there. Don't go there ever. It's the worst. Um, so anyway, whatever. I had to interview them once. Oh, interestingly. Oh no, that's just going to add to the conspiracy. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Okay. None of us talk about that. We're just going to... Shh. I'm not going to talk about it. It's not important. Um, uh, oh, no. Yes. Rob, you gossipy bitch. Bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, it, does anyone remember... Like for people who have been long-time fans of the Oswald Gamer, I have uh, I've hosted the Army Painter uh, birthday party online. Um, their media guy at the time wasn't 100% certain how to um, call in different people and kind of do a live stream of that stuff at the time. Obviously, got a lot better at it since. So I hosted their um, their live stream uh, where they had loads of special guests, loads of special guests from around the world. Um, uh, and they did have on Rob Bear from Spiky Bits as one of their... I mean, it was their guest list. So. But they also had other content creators on who, like, who aren't like that. So, um, yeah, there was the girl who talked about Giants. Disaster. Uh, pretty sure the amount of ads there would explain your profile. Yeah, so we were part of the uh, technical arena book. Okay, we've done it. Look, all the red eyes. It's looking pretty good. Now we've got to do the flames. The flames. Like, we've smashed this. This has gone really well. Especially like Duncan, especially like Rob. Yes. <laughs> the Army Paint launch show. Yeah, oh, it was their birthday party. It was a birthday party or something. Yeah. I've tweeted you a huge update. Oh, my God. Amazing. Uh, it's huge news. Spiky bits. <laughs> okay. Elon Musk has bought Spiky bits. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, I've got hilarious screen grab drops. You send them me. Um, no, the slap chop sticks aren't on sale yet. We're not. Are we going to make them? I don't know what that requires. A Kickstarter. Let's go. A useless hobby Kickstarter. We could do this. Um, then we'll send some to uh, famous celebrities that we know. Um, I need to do the flames. And I'm just probably going to do them like these flames. Because it's an endless spell. So it's not going to be that fancy. You could do the flames really fancy, but... It's just a lot of that's a lot of stuff I'm not going to do. So there we go. So we're going to just go back to using athematic blue. Rob, please do a pupil. What? Okay. 
I've got some Black Templar. I don't have actual real human paints. So I've only got this. Okay, just do a, a dot. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Okay. Here we go. Everyone, everyone paying attention? I have to not talk. It's very serious times. I'm a genius. There we go. Thanks, chat. Thanks for forcing me to do it. We did it. Made them directional. They're all, yeah, they're all looking in one direction. Apart from this guy at the top, who's definitely got some problems. Yeah. Boom, we did it. Yeah, I have now done freehand. Last week we did stripes. This week we did freehand. We're changing up the game. Let's go. <laughs> Given it's Halloween, can you call the drama YouTube roundup nightmare? <laughs> nightmare on Wow Home Street. <laughs> we should 100% do like a YouTube star video on this, on the, on the drama. Oh my God, it would be so good. Um. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So we finished this under spell. That's two. Uh, we've been going for an hour, not even that. And then we've also been able to discuss all of the paint drama at the same time. So that's good. Oh, we're, on, we're on some good money here, chat. We're like we are cooking with gas. I've got to do the bases. I do all my chaos basing the same. So my whole chaos range. So like anything that I have from chaos all goes on the same base, which is like a lava style base. Um, so it just means that like if I ally something in or you know, I move on from one army to the next, it's all just the same basing basically. Uh which is basically <laughs> Um there we go. This is quite a nice paint, to be honest. Uh like on this large surface area. Right, this looks decent, that's fine. Um Uh Rob's doing techniques. I've got OSL, I did OSL earlier. Uh there you go, you can see that OSL there. Um like now I'm doing freehand. <sighs> like I just am probably one of the greatest painters of all time at the moment, uh, which is why I'm so popular in painting circles. Uh, I'm being tagged in uh, hobby drama. It's just going really well for me, uh, basically. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Uh, I'm not putting a lot of thought into this this section. Uh, obviously, I'm being very, very conscious as I apply this paint something to be aware of being very conscious of of making sure i get exactly the right volumes um as i go through obviously because i've done that that pre-sketch uh with the with the light dry brushes previous just making sure i put exactly the right um uh kind of like uh tone and and um oh no what's the other word i'm looking for yeah just uh, volumes just make sure i get the right volumes in so i'm just being really cautious uh with how much of this paint I'm putting in what areas, just being very, very aware there as I'm going through. I'm using a uh, Winsor & Newton Series 7 brush. Uh, the tip currently looks like this. Um, so I'm using a lot of values and uh, volumes. Uh, so yeah, just be, so this is, uh, it might look a little bit quick, but I'm actually really paying attention to just how much volume I'm putting on there. So just please be aware of that. Don't think I'm just slapping it on. That would be obviously uh, disrespectful and a, and a real spiky by bits level of kind of viewership. So please don't do that. There we go. Um, seems strong. Thank you. A uh, lot of Rob using the word volumes. Shit getting serious. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Can we talk about how games run a gaming system where you can, can't get a whole bunch of the character models in that army list anymore? Uh, like not even out of stock, simply not even on the site. It's so frustrating. Uh, could you reference which ones you're talking about, please, Mr. Zige? Uh, there we go. Uh, so like, not bad. Uh, did these in like way under an hour because uh, we were mainly just chatting away. Um, I think definitely the book looks better uh, because we've done the eyes. Uh, than this, to be honest. Um, but, like, you know, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. And they're over. Okay. Right. Uh, paint the rims and they'll look good. Oh, no, no, no. Because I have to... I, I do chaos basing for the for the bases. I'm trying to find... Have I got any chaos minis knocking around? Um, hold on. Hold on. 
hold on. Yeah, here we go. Hold on. There we go. So, as you can see uh, here, so all my bases do kind of have this. This is this is gonna be a great paint job. Look at this big cow mama uh, from Beast of Chaos, right? Uh, the only downfall is that, uh, but we ha can't have it all. Otherwise, ten out of ten. Thank you. Uh, immersion ruined. I apologise. But there you can see. Uh, yeah, so I do that on all the bases. So I'll do that after, uh, and that's just easy because obviously the it's also really good to do lava because you can see I've already done the kind of the soot, uh, uh, if you will, um, of the magma. Uh, or like which is either a solid or a liquid. I don't know which one. Um, and then, uh, bush. There are actually four states, isn't there? Isn't there solid, liquid, uh, air, and plasma? I thought plasma was like the the fourth state for uh, for things, but I could just be wrong. I may have just heard that wrong from liars from liars on the internet. Um, yeah, plasma. Uh, slap some mordant on PVA hairdryer. I don't know what that means. You said so many words. Gas and plasma. Yeah, gas. That's the one. Air. It's minimal spice for Thursday. Uh, it's interesting to me that Games Workshop applied house rules to their own rules at the last America event. House rule in your own rule? Just rewrite the original. That is good spice, Nurgle Matthew. Thank you. I'm going to go find out. Um, that's great. Uh, what company is what? This guy. Uh, this is Beast Area Miniatures. This one. Uh, that's Beast Area Miniatures. And look. Look at the woeful Ogroid I've got to do in comparison absolutely but we'll get him done we'll get him done we'll get him done uh okay so an ogroid thwamitage okay as you can see he's a pretty beefy boy <sighs> it's a great question about what color he's going to be um the ogroid chat you got any ideas uh, someone suggested green i quite like the idea of doing him in not eldari emerald none of these colors uh in croxagor scales that's quite a nice color in fact actually let's go for that Croxagore scales. Okay. Um, it's got kind of a nice blue-green twinge, but it's also kind of got like uh he's definitely not he's definitely not pink. He's not a, he's not a pink ogroid. Um so we're gonna go Croxagore scales, because Croxagore scales is a great paint. You can see it's like a bit of a blue it's a bit blue, it's a bit green. Um the golden cow. <laughs> but we'll not do that, okay? So thin it down, add some water, thin that bad boy down. Make sure you don't have too much on your brush. Off you go. Easy peasy. Oh, he's going to look great. He is going to look great. Um, and even if he only looks okay, that's also fine. The, the main, as a slap chopper, uh, and I'm sure many of you know this, but as a slap chopper, you're mainly aiming somewhere between like okay to great. So never fantastic. It's way too high. But you're just looking for okay to great. That's what you're looking for. Which is pretty good. Like, to be honest, you're looking to uh, average to above average. You know, somewhere between a 5 and a 7 is what you're aiming for as a paint job. And you don't hate that. Because that's pretty high. Um, uh, this is a great blue, uh, as you can see. Uh, in my opinion. Like, it's uh, it's very nice. And I mean, I think he's looking great already, personally. I think he's already looking really great. He's got a, a bunch of different, as you can see, runes. So I could try and go over that with some, um, with another color and try and get those runes. I'm obviously not going to paint inside the runes. That would be, well, that would ruin the model. Uh, that's aqua. That's aqua. Well, the color is Croxagore scales. It's a really nice color. Really nice color. I think it's the one of the new colors um, from the range. So I'm just not doing his nails. Or I accidentally did one of his nails, but that's fine. That's that's intentional. Um, there you go. Also, you can never really tell. You know, if you ever look at anyone else's miniatures, you never really know if the paint job that they've done is intentional or not. The big question is what color to paint the nips. He doesn't have nips. Um, so even though he's a cow... No, whereas this miniature, full of nipples. They're one, two, three nipples, and they're eye sockets. These are eyeballs as nipples. Think about that for a bit. Just think about it. Um, uh, use Black Templar to paint the nips. All right, for you guys, I'm going to paint nips on. How's that sound? I will, like the eyeballs. Now I know how to do eyeballs. Thanks for teaching me, chat. 
I'm uh, going to move on and paint the nips. How's that sound? Sound good? Oh, it's got a bit on the... Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't believe that there are uh, female presenting eyeballs. Exactly. Uh, love it. So weird. 3D printing in the new year, I think. It's just the best. You get miniatures which are just amazing. Like, there's so many conversations to have about value, ease, everything else. But ultimately, we're all mini people. We like minis. We like the physicality of minis. And that you just get to have loads of cool minis. I don't really know what else to say. Like, that's such an exciting prospect for us as consumers. Um, uh, man, I only have one eye on them. On <laughs> it's such a cool color. I love this color a lot. It's a great color. And it's so and it, and it kind of like fits into so many places. It's it's like almost it's definitely a magic color, like a color you can use for magic. But then it's not like overpowering or like it's not too bold. But it's enough. I really like it as a color. It's really cool, really really cool. So yeah, I love that. Um, Seraphon definitely. I mean, it's called Crocs or Scale. So yeah, you feel like it's definitely used uh, meant for Seraphon or something similar. Um, but you know, you could do some, you could do some really fun stuff with it. Weirdly, you can maybe even do, uh, you know, like zombies or like undead uh, in this color, because it almost, it almost feels necromantic as a kind of, as kind of a color, a bit of like Arthur's, Arthur's. So, if any, any fans of the Wrath of the Lich King in, in the chat, that works. Um, I print off a Zinch army, so many good sculpts. Uh, you also you don't have to go to the shop. You also don't have to go to the shop. I mean, there's that. That's pretty good. Um, I mean, look, there isn't miniatures for it. There isn't 3D sculpts for everything or proxies for everything. And some of the minis out there are pretty shit. Like, but there's a whole bunch that aren't. Like, there's a whole bunch that are, like, awe-inspiring. And I kind of think it's the future. But there we go. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Um... Uh, Arthur's was the saddest hero falls from Grey Story in my childhood. It was, yeah, it was a, a toughie. Arthur's. Yeah. So this is taking quite long because it's obviously a large minute, larger miniature, and it's quite a lot of the mini. I say quite long, maybe sub three or four minutes, uh, but that's fairly long in the world of slap chop. There we go. He's got some teeth and stuff, but I'm going to pick that out after. I'm going to do something else with the face, I think. Um, yeah, he looks cool, right? Like, already great start. Uh, we can see, like, we can see all of the, the runes and stuff. And because, obviously, it had that black color, it's already built in. Um, so, don't have to do any work there, which is kind of nice. But we could. We could do some fun stuff. We could do some OSL. Now we know how to do OSL. We could just OSL that bad boy up, right? That would look quite cool. Um, I'm working on my official Beast Corps over the winter then 3D print a new army maybe Skaven in the new year there are loads of Skaven sculpts absolutely loads of Skaven sculpts and much better than the Games Workshop ones because Games Workshop have just given up on making Skaven sculpts for a bit so you know like that's on them they 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 didn't want to make stuff so uh, do I do the tail I should do the tail the same colour it'd be pretty fun to do something like weird but that's not what we're here for. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, dudes. Um, uh, give him red hair. Make him look like old Epic Magnus color scheme. Uh, Clay Beast just released the Ghost Rats. Yeah, they look great. They look really good. Um, Robert, I'm picking up a little over 2K in Skaven. Oh, they're great. They're great, man. Like Skaven are cool uh, as an army, but just the sculpts are older. And if you want to get make the choice to do something different, then I would. Theory: They haven't made any new Skaven sculpts because they will make the old world, and they don't want to compete with themselves. It's a really interesting thought about the old world. Uh, some burgundy for the hair. Uh, that would be pretty fun. Let's do the let's do the let's do his staff first. Let's definitely just give him a good old, good old fashioned, Gore Grunter, wood staff. Yeah, I like the idea of orange hair. I don't hate the idea of orange hair. That'd be quite fun. Um, but let's just get some some gore grunter fur, which I generally tend to use for wood. 
water it down. Um, make him ginger. All right, let's do it. Oh, we've got to paint his nipples on as well, so we'll do that in a second. Hold on. Uh, let's do the wood. There we go. Thin it down. Is it thin? It's pretty thin. Yeah. There we go. Just make sure it's thin down enough so you can see all the, the, the tone underneath it. go easy peasy um orange will work great with that skin okay so we're doing orange will his nipples be eyeballs as well unfortunately he doesn't have he doesn't have orange nipples so i'm sorry about that just try to get a bit of wood in there yeah there we go so that's okay uh orange hair okay i'm in i'm in on orange hair so what is the orange colour? There's like the dark orange colour, the one we had before, but I'm sure there's a new orange from G-Dubs. I, mean, I think I have it. Do I have it? It's called like Magma Droth or something, but I think I had it, and I think it, it went walkie. Someone took it somewhere. Where are you, Magma Droth? Uh, that's what it's called, isn't it? It's like, and I surely I'm not going to miss it. It's like bright as the sun. Um, Magma Flame. I've got Bar Red. It's not that. It's not Doomfire Magenta. Is it over there? Is it over there on that little paint rack? No. Um, I'm trying to find... I like the old I like the old orange as well. Griffhound Orange is a great orange. Uh, hold on. Uh, Blood Angel's Red. I don't think I have it, you know. I, d I did have it. I did buy it. Or I did get it. Um, but... Unfortunately, it's not on here. Anywhere. Shame. Sh Boo! Hold on. Let me go see if it's over there. Magma Dross Flame, yeah. Let me go see if it's vanished into this, into the quarters, which it sometimes tends to do. So I, I really need to get myself a rack where all of those paints, like, can, g can go on in the future. Like, all the contrast paints, because it's one of those things where it's just like... Anyway, this would be terrible YouTube content. Which I'm not cutting out. So if you watch this back on YouTube, that's what it's like to watch Twitch. Well done. Welcome to the show. Um, whatever is the brightest orange. Unfortunately, I don't have a bright orange. It's vanished. It's gone. It is. Or of a dirty. Unfortunately. So. No colours for me. Uh, but you use Gadrex Sewer for leather and stuff. Uh, I tend to use, like, either. Um, for leather, obviously the state by leather, which is really great, and then there's also there's also a super great color, um, uh, Argos Dunes. Argos Dunes is a great color as well. I really like that. Use magenta on the hair. I haven't got magenta. Uh, I like Doomfire magenta. No, I'm not doing pink. That's gonna look awful. Oh, this one. No. I do wish I had that magma one because it is really bright. Oh no. Oh well. Oh well, that would be cool. That would make him look good. We could do uh, like a rusty. Uh, I think if there's no bright orange, we're going pink. Oh no. Pink! What, so we want to do Doomfire Magenta? We could ruin the miniature. But there's only one way to find out. <laughs> there's only one way to find if we're gonna ruin the mini, we could do burgundy. Burgundy's a darker red. That's a fun color. We really need to have all the colors to hand. That's gonna be like quite an awkward thing for um, for actual professional painters, right? Like you gotta have a rack with each one named. Like they can't be out of them, because that would be like they're like, oh, that's the perfect color today. Um, uh, so what? Burgundy. Let's see. A fun color for cowards. Uh, are we doing burgundy? Okay, let's try it out. Rob, I'm going to DM you a picture of my paint rack. Okay. <laughs> Please don't, know. I don't want that. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this looks terrible. I'm in. <laughs> let's go. I'm absolutely loving it. Let's go. Here we go. What do we think? He is. 
bright. He's a bright boy. He is coming to beat you up. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Look at this. So he is very bright. Um, I don't need that named if you can, don't need them named if you can see the color. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. I have a games which I paint wrap my ownership of what makes me happy. Yeah, I think just having all the names to hand is super useful, right? So you know what you like, especially if someone like suggests something. Um, but again, like setting up your like workstation paint station is such a such a ball ache. But then it's very different if you're painting different things all the time. If you like, I guess that's if you're like more of a creative painter. If you're just painting an army, you know what color all the stuff you need is. Do you know what? That was an absolutely. I don't know who made the suggestion for Burgundy in the chat, but you smashed it. Great decision from whoever decided that. I absolutely had no faith in you. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put it out there. Didn't believe in what you were saying. Thought you were an absolute lunatic. But that has gone. That's phenomenal. That looks great. I love that. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you've got to do the goatee to match. Thanks for looking at that. There he's got a little goatee. Let's get his little goatee painted. Okay. I don't think that's bad. There we go. His goatee's all painted up. Uh, Rob, have you got a color wheel? I don't even have a. I don't even have a color clue. <laughs> that was funny. Come on, that was good. I like that was. We chortled. We chortled. We laughed. What color are the horns? What color are the horns? I feel like we just need to go like neutral, like almost black. I think. Why don't we just use black for the horns? I think that would be quite fun. Yeah. I think that would be a real fun little adventure to go burgundy for the horns. I'm into that. I think he did have a long cape, but I think I cut it off sometime because I was going to try and make him ride a model. I can't remember what it was. Uh, but yeah, let's do black horns. And then we can also do the nipples at the same time. So we all win. Uh, yeah, black, uh, black Templar, which is a great, great paint. Like, that's also another one of them. Contrast paints, just the black. Just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic paint. Like... You can use it like pure to like just drop it on a cut. I love this paint. It's great. So let's just do a quick, quick nipple. Okay. So now he's got a nipple. There we go. Um, and then we'll thin down the paint and do the horns. Uh, and then we'll put all the gold trim on. Uh, he has got a small skirt. I agree. So let's thin it down. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, hello, Mr. Fish. Hello, hello, buddy. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, less thin, maybe. Less thin than that. Interesting. He's also got some, uh, oh, sorry, you can't see. Lol. Um, there we go. Not too bad. Should I do the, ho I'll do the horns in front as well, black. Because that's fine. There you go. Fingernails. Let's do some fingernails black really quickly. Defeated it. Absolutely great. Uh, these fingernails under that. I mean, if anyone ever looks at that bit of the model, obviously they're terrible. So, um, hit the pot, go raw. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Let's let's do the, Let's do our let's do our gold color, um, and then a bit of Nasdreg. We can come back to that if we want to, can't we? Uh, Nasdreg, gold skeleton. No Nasdreg. No Gorgrimmer. <gasps> that's the best color in the world. Nasdreg yellow. Never leave me. That's all. Oh my goodness. It's gone. Core Grunter. Nasdrag. It's just all these silly colours and we just want Nasdrag forever. Where have I put it? Somewhere. Uh, feels less... Do you like this? I think this looks great. 
Like, uh, can we give him frosted tips on the hair? <laughs> Uh, it's run off with the orange. I can't believe the orange has vanished. That's the sad news of the day. But we'll just go get some more. Um, which is fine. Gore Grunter. Purple. Nazdrag. I think I've got more than one Nazdrag as well. So the fact I can't find it is really funny. Do like do pro painters... I don't know if anyone watches pro painters. Do they like have all their colours like lined up ready? That's fun. But how do they know what they're going to paint ahead of time? That's insane. Like, imagine knowing what colours you're going to use. Honestly, the strangest people. Like, I really do think that. I painted a whole Jukari in Nasdrag. Imagination. Well, as we know, I'm severely lacking in that department. Going to go with a warm bone of the staff head. Could be a nice offset. Yeah, I think so. To the cool tones. Correct. Yeah, I like to use a lot of warm, cool tones um, a lot of the time uh, when I'm working with brighter warmths is uh it's one of my things i go for a lot uh so uh, there we go bit of gold um you pick them off the nail polish right you uh, wait uh, it's a very precise manner yeah or do they have like 40 different paint pots out in front of them? they must have like they must have them all assembled in front of them right but then i don't really know any like I don't watch... Uh, there are live painters, aren't there? There's obviously, like, YouTube content, and then there's, like, live paint stuff. I just... I, like... They, they, surely it's a bit more, like, haphazard. A bit like this. They're just like, whatever, I'm just hanging out. Um, that's got to be the situation. Okay. Here we go. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. I just decided to do the whole thing because I was like, I was, as you can see, I was actually avoiding the center, but now I'm just like, whatever. So um, we're back on it. Okay, good. Go. Oh, we're doing the, the horns as well. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, then you have made people like Marco who just know everything they'll need ahead of time and put all the palette before starting. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? Um, I'm sure lots of painters are like that. I'm sure lots of people painters already know where they're going, and I'm sure some people. I'm sure some people's painting process is that actually it's a lot more creative than that while they're doing it, and they're just like mixing and matching as they go. It's crazy, but then they have hundreds of hours put into this stuff, and I suppose I probably got quite a lot of hours put into it, but it's never really been a focus. I'm not sure about the horns, to be honest. I feel like the horns are a bit bleh. Maybe if we uh, get some te Black Templar again, wherever the hell it is, um, get some Black Templar, and if we're just going to do it a little bit, going to do a little bit thicker at the base of the the horns. Like I think that's what's throwing me off. I feel like I'm going to just make the bottom a little bit thicker. There we go. Uh, that's right, hit that part. There's this guy, I don't know if you've heard of him, Chris. <laughs> that's true, but the videos on YouTube are definitely very edited. Yeah, it's fine though, like, it's, like, it's, it's, you're teaching. Like, those videos are normally, like, you're teaching someone, right? That's the point of those videos. Um, okay, we'll do the horns straight, straight black out that part. Let's go. There you go. That looks better, in my opinion. Um, uh, for me, it depends on what I'm painting. If it's something where I want to be the best of my abilities, I usually follow a recipe and have the paints in front of me. If I'm army painting, not slap chop, just let the mood carry me to what paints I need. Yeah, kind of where I'm at now. Like, we were going to do orange. Now we've gone purple. Looks fantastic. Looks almost... Oh, we've got to do the booties as well. Come on, little, little toesies. You're getting some Black Templar all over you. There we go. Black Templar all over there because that's the boot that's the 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 hoofs the hoofs are done and then i also need to do some gold around those little arm bands he's got what well, ankle bands uh yeah gold anklets obviously come on 
Come on, we've got the paint on the on the rack. Like, we don't even need to ask ourselves, do we? Here we go. What brush am I using? An, a medium Citadel Lair brush, if anyone's interested, uh, because it's the closest brush I had to hand. And I mean, I haven't tried. This is super important for everyone to know. I've intentionally, last week I was trying quite hard. This week I'm intentionally coming in pretty, pretty haphazard. I think he's looking okay. Maybe a, li a little bit like a kid's toy because he's, he's just got a lot of the same surface area, right? Like it's very, like it's, oh, he's got a little earring as well. Hello, little earring. Um. Uh, once I've got a color scheme down for an army, it's all the same. I know what I need. I don't read my nice bit. I'm in the same boat, apart from when you get that new material on a bit of an army that you haven't painted before, and you're like, uh-oh, what color would this be? Like Until I started slap chopping, I was basically like, okay, leather is this color, silver is this color. Like, no difference. Like, there was never anything different about the way I painted each army, basically. Um, big Skeletor vibes. Oh, yeah, I guess he does. Uh Loads of negative space. You've got it, Dave. I could do so much. I could do so much with this. I mean, he looks great on camera. Um, someone suggested a skeleton horde, which I agree with, for the head of this beastie. Um, look after yourself, Nogal Matthew. Stay healthy, stay well. Once I've got a colour scheme down, yeah, me too. Right, okay. Let's go. Let's do the little head. Skeleton Horde's one of those paints you just absolutely yeet on. Like, you don't even you don't even thin it. You just throw Skeleton Horde. Is that Skeleton Horde? Uh, you just throw Skeleton Horde down. Just yeet it into the sea. Um, as much on as you can, basically, is how I use it. Uh, it's just so good. It's such a good paint. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. Um, ruined it. Thank you. I appreciate you. There we go. I eat a whole incarnate proxy with a horde. So good. Yeah, it's so good. Um, okay, that's done. And then I think maybe we'll put the. He's got like a metallic helmet, like head of that staff. So I'll make that be in gold as well, because. I guess gold's the colour we've been using on everything. So that can just go on here. That's metal. So you're gold now. Congratulations. There we go. Now we've got to do the flame. Like. Uh, and I guess we could do a lot of my Z a lot of my uh, magic stuff, especially for Zinch, is all fire based. So very tempted to almost not slap chop something there. He's got a little cloak I need to do, and I was doing purple because we used that previously. Um, uh, uh, like it's weak. Oh, you don't like what you do? Oh, the, the uh, yeah, the skeleton horde is such a weak paint. It's so so weak. Okay. Right. So he's got himself a mini skirt there. Okay. So he's looking cute. Looking very cute. Um, We've been using Doomfire Magenta for our weird eyeballs, so we'll carry that on. That's what we'll do. Doomfire Magenta. Doomfire Magenta. And then we'll pop that into the little eye socket that we've been doing on the rest of them. There you go. We've got some free OSL there uh, on the edge. Um, I feel like his face needs something. Like, he needs, like, there needs to be something, like, another color in his face like when i do green now because i learned to do like a little bit of red in the face so i might try and add a tiny bit of red into the face let's really water down this paint so that, but you'll never see the face but fuck it i'll try anyway so there we go i don't know uh, but that's on like normal colored skin i don't know what color you would put on like oh that's too that's way too thick. Um Okay there we go. Kinda works though. 
kind of works. If you told me I would just be randomly slopping paint over the top of a mini, I would have like laughed at you. But it does kind of weirdly work. I'll just leave that. Um, almost done prepping nine rock guts. When you finish doing the dry brushing, you feel like you're about to take on the world. You're like, this next step's going to be so easy. Anyway. Uh, the face is such a weird angle. It's kind of looking at the ground. Yeah, like when you... Yeah, the mini... So, like, the mini is like this. So, like, you just never... You just never see that, man. Unless, he, unless he's giving you this cross-eyed look. And it, then it's obviously on the... like it's, it's like there, right? Like, that's how you see the mini. And it's, o like, it's on a table. So you just never see this. Like, the, you get more from the back than you do from any other part of it. Uh, so, yeah, not bad. It's got to do some little bits on the uh, the top. I can't say I, like, love... Like, compared to the ogres, because the ogre we did last week, I think I smashed the butcher last week. So that was the butcher from last week. I think we really got it. We really got the butcher down last week. Um, so, like, not sure. Like, it's quite hard doing, like, magical armies because no matter what you do, it's, like, it's a weird magic army, right? Um, like, I love how you got three models done in less than two hours and I'm on day four, day four of converting Resculpt in a mini. My life is paved. Life is <laughs> I mean, I'm just not going down that rabbit hole anymore, right? Like, I'm happy. Like, I've got these now I can use in a tournament game and they're done. And, like, they're painted. Like, they're painted to a degree. Like, they're, like you know, maybe they're not brilliant. Maybe they're, they are brilliant. Like, they're not brilliant. That's obviously true. But like, it's fine. Uh, I saw Darren Latham painting blue striped pants today. Well, there you go. There's your answer. Um, yeah, I might, uh, to make the, him consistent with the rest of my army, I might try and do flames on this. Like, fuck it, we could do this. What do we need? Red and yellow. We tried this last time and we really fucked it up. But we're going to try again. Magenta is, we're going to go for bar red, because that's more of a flame color. Okay, we're going to try it. Okay, and I'm not going to thin this down. I'm not going to thin this down. So we're going for fire. That's what we're going for. So. This is super thick. This is crazy paint. Okay. Wow, this is, this is such an obnoxiously pigmented. And I'm just going to do some little streaks. Okay. Um. And then we'll go for the bright yellow, uh, which is Bad Moon. Um, uh huh. So here's the bright yellow. Uh, yeah, ketchup. Yeah, it's so thick. Such a thick paint. Uh, that's slightly too see through, like over the slap chart. There we go. I mean, it's definitely not good. <laughs> uh, it's not bad either, I don't think. I'm not sure. It's not reading necessarily as like flames yellow, right? That's kind of the point. Maybe we can uh, mix in some of the red and then blend it a bit around the bottom. Let me see. Yeah. Let's try. Get them to reactivate. Right, let's go. Let's go, Army Painter. Actually, fuck yeah. Absolutely fuck yeah. Like, hello. Uh, but we don't need the orange, right? The red mixes with the yellow. Like... Uh, the colours are the wrong way around. The flames are the hottest at the bottom. I know, I know that's how it works. I always paint my I always paint my flames the wrong way around, like. But there you go. Rob just infected wet blood. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that looks terrible, right? Like, like I don't hate that. It's a magic flame. Yeah, it works backwards. So it's a magic flame. Um, there we go. We're painting an ogroid. I don't know what that took. Like twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Um, yeah, Zine's flames are built different. Yeah, but I'm pretty happy with that personally. 
I think the flames look really good on that actually. Really happy with that. That was pretty that was pretty boss. And then and then uh what time is it? One o'clock? Oh nice. We could do these boys. We we're, we're not finished. Like are we just gonna do more? Like I oh maybe should we maybe we should just leave it at the end. We should just be like, look, we've done Zinch Bros for today. Like we've smashed it. Like this is a this is a good it's a good hour and a half paint sesh. Painted two endless spells and a character in in today. That's not bad. Right? The guy to carry all the artifacts from Melly. There we go, yes. Not bad, eh? Like Yeah man, they can wear fancy sweaters. Um, how's your He-Man stuff going? All the He-Man stuff is fully painted. Uh, all done. All He-Man stuff is painted. Um, all uh, So all He-Man stuff is painted. Yeah, just done. Uh, the next big stuff we've got to do is Hi Ron, first time slapper, king time chopper. Have you thought about doing tutorials on specific effects you can achieve with Slapshot methods like OSL, MMN, or Metallics? Thanks for asking. Really appreciate you. Yeah, as you can see here, I did an OSL. Um, a quick uh, tutorial on how to do it is uh, you basically get the area that is the light source, so the O, and then you spread it uh, to the L, which is the loser area because it gets it gets spread on. Uh, so and that's how you do OSL NMM, just Nasdaq yellow. Uh, what was the other question you asked? Uh, or normal metallics? Normal metallics, just just use metallics. That's what I think is the answer. Um, uh, building these turbines. <laughs> well, I hope everyone, if you watch this back as YouTube video, woohoo! This is it. This is the thumbnail. Look at that. Oh, they're all painted. I painted these in not very long. Um, I don't think they look too bad. So, uh, happy with that. Uh, so, thanks for tuning in. Uh, obviously, don't support me on Patreon for this content. Please support me for the other content, which I try really hard at, which is like Age of Sigma stuff and generally being a, a, an upstanding dude. Uh, thanks very much.